In an exclusive GBN interview, Dr. Jessamy revealed that the area of mangrove removed was minimal and measures will be taken to ensure that this is not repeated as the project progresses. This species is well represented throughout the, the, the um, coastal area here. We found lots of seeds and young ones when we do our survey. It would be easy to, to do any kind of revegetating. It's just a narrow area right here that got affected. Um, and that was inadvertent. What we will ensure going forward is that we tag and, you know, tag areas so the operator knows exactly where he needs to stop. Um, but no construction is going to be happening here. This is just the stockpile, the soil. Mrs. Jessamy is presently conducting the environmental impact assessment on the $2 billion project and says the assessment for phase one is almost complete. We have had consultations with key stakeholders. We've had household surveys. We were doing this since last year. We've had consultations with residents from the area, with the Hotel and Tourism Association, with the Marine and Yachting Association of Grenada. So we have engaged a lot of stakeholders. We've showed them the plans. We've had input. We've had commentary. We've had stakeholder engagement with, with forestry, with physical planning and other agencies. She said they intend to hold a more wide consultation on the draft environmental impact assessment when completed. Excavation works have begun for the start of the multi-billion dollar Grenada Resorts Complex. The road being excavated leads to the location of an interpretive center. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News.